This week's Torah portion is called Tazriya Mitzorah, it's two portions combined. And it happens to be, in this case, the week before we celebrate the 65th anniversary of the birth of the State of Israel. So I want to make a connection there. Mitzorah, in Hebrew, it means leprosy, it's a skin disease, different forms of leprosy that the Bible is referring to. But the rabbis interpret it slightly differently. They called it, they interpreted it this way, Mitzorah, they said, is Motsi Shem Ra. Mitzorah, Motsi Shem Ra, which means slander. Why do they do that? Because there's a story in the Torah about a time when Miriam grows a little bit impatient with Moses. She gets a little bit jealous of his leadership, and she begins to speak in a very ill fashion about him in a way that we'd really call slanderous. And then as a punishment, she's struck with leprosy, and then Moses intervenes and asks God to forgive her, and she is cured. So the rabbis say, see, leprosy came from the slander. Now, what's the connection? The connections I see here is, you know, Israel's about to celebrate her 65th wedding, uh, 60th birthday, her anniversary. There hasn't been a month, a week, or a day since her establishment when Israel has not had to be concerned with attacks, whether they be literal attacks or preparations for attacks or threats of attacks, there's been wars, there's been terrorist attacks. Just today, which is a different day that you're going to see this video, but unfortunately it might happen on the same day, rockets were launched from Gaza again into southern Israel. So Israel has been on the alert for 65 years, constant pressure. In spite of that, in 65 years, she's built one of the strongest democracies on the face of the earth, one of the strongest economies in which the technological area and the area of medicine absolutely thrives. She's a leader in those industries and those areas throughout the world. She's built a thriving, thriving country. Yet those who surround her continue to attack her very existence, whether it be politically, economically, or literally, militarily, through terror or through acts of war, those countries are in total disarray. Those countries are suffering from civil wars, economic depression or collapse, tremendous social uh, upheaval in those countries because of their inability to make peace with Israel and to form a partnership which would strengthen everyone in the Mideast and strengthen, of course, the entire world. The question is when? When will Israel be given an opportunity, really, to live in peace. That's what we pray for as we enter the 65th anniversary. It's a lesson for every country that surrounds her. It's a lesson that reminds us that when a country can make peace, when a country can find a relationship with her neighbors that is cooperative, then imagine, just imagine, how those countries can thrive. Israel's done it in spite of the pressure in spite of a refusal of so many to accept her very existence, she's created this incredible oasis of democracy, this oasis of civil liberty and civil rights for all in this little slither of land in the Mideast. So it's a great privilege for us as we approach the 65th anniversary of the birth of Israel to be part of that generation, the first in 2,000 years, to have a Jewish state, a sovereign Jewish state. You know, they made a movie a long time ago. In fact, I was just found this very old edition of the book, Exodus by Leon Uris, which became the classic book, that became a movie, remember, with Paul Newman, that describes the establishment of Israel, how the struggle took place, how the odds were so much against the state of Israel. But when you have a belief in democracy, when you have justice on your side, when you have such good friends in the world as the United States has been and continues to be to Israel, it's possible to build what she has built in partnership with so many good people and good nations throughout the world. So we wish Israel a happy 65th birthday. We look forward to celebrating many, many, many more years of celebration, of triumph, and most of all, we hope that this flag, it's a little version that we have that we use in our Hebrew school, the kids to be able to wave the flag, that this flag will wave one day, not only over the Jewish state, but the Jewish state living at peace with her neighbors in an area of the world that will thrive with democracy and with freedom and with friendship. Happy birthday, Yom Hulet Sameach, to Medina Israel, to the state of Israel, and all of her citizens.
מזלטו. אנו מכריזים בזאת על הקמת מדינה יהודית בארץ ישראל. היא מדינת ישראל.